Well, hey, hi, it's Ron Howard from Extreme Sequencers, and I'm back with another tutorial. Don't you just hate it when you create a new sequence and all of the order of your models and submodels all went catawampy on you? Nobody likes catawampy. I can't even spell catawampy. But I'm sure if I could, I wouldn't like it. So why should you be expected to? And look, there's an easy way to fix this, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So get out your notebook, take some notes, record it, whatever you got to do. Have a friend come over and have a beer with you and be your backup. That's what buddies do for each other, right? Here we go. So here's my layout. Groups, 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 tons of groups, submodel groups, 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 groups. All I really need in my sequencing window are my groups and any standalones. A standalone might be a web, a mega tree, the spooky tree, this headless horseman from Gilbert Engineering. Those are standalones. Everything else that I have, well, just about everything else that I have, at least two of, go in a group. And I might also argue it's a good idea to go ahead and put the spin reel max if it's by itself in a group and the rose wreath in a group. And I'll show you in a minute why that might make more sense. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Here we go. I want to create a new sequence and this is the world that you're all living in. So you're going to create an animation and you're going to tell it a whopping 40 frames per second. You're just going to blow past this all models <laughs> dialog box because you're like, well, yeah, I want all my models. How else can I sequence? And you hit done. <sighs> You've already screwed up now, haven't you? Now we're in the bloody master view. Now we got everything. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That's like listening to all of your FM radio stations all at once in your car. Ooh, can that be done? I don't think so. But it wouldn't be good if you, if you could. It would suck. So we don't want to do that. We want to do something different. So how do we impact this? How do we change all this to make a world better? So we go to our edit display elements. There are two ways of getting here. You can click on this button up here that says display elements, or you can right click on any of these words that define your models and click edit display elements. And you'll see here, oh, it's docked. Hold down the control key quick so it doesn't dock. All right, so what we see here is that we have all of the models and groups over to the right because it's our master view. The master view is what tells x lights the definition of how and what order to render these in. It's the most important view that could ever be. But guess what? But guess what? I can knock master view off its little high horse and I'm going to show you how. And it's a lot of fun. So you will see here I've done that already with this Halloween master view, so I created my own. But what I would like you to do, and I know some of you use multiple vendors or your own stuff and you're always having issues, well, I want this layout to work for their sequences and this to work for Ron's sequences and blah, 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 blah. So now you can, it's easy. You've been able to do this forever. Click add, call this extreme sequences view for lack of better terms. And there we are. And then you get to pull over everything that is conducive to my stuff. All yard arches you can basically take it from my show and make a match exactly and then we get to things like uh grand illusion do i really need grand illusion one and two in there because i have two no just put the group in there and then put in all of the sub models and hopefully you put them in the order that is like my order or the effects will look wrong uh mother of all groups and I think I might have one submodel group for that, which is called MOA Vert Group, and that's it. I would anticipate more submodel groups coming out shortly from uh, some uh, brainiacs out there that are uh, doing some of this, which is fantastic. Here's the one time I'll break this rule. If I only have one model and it's not in a group, because I only have one Rosa Wreath, and shame on me, I'll put that there. And then I will find my GE Rosa Wreath submodel groups and I will bring these in just below it, right? Well, it might make more sense for you to just bring over the GE Rosa Wreath um, group. Oh, I think I just did that. Oh, let's do it both ways. Rosa Wreath group, and then take that out. Yeah, there we go, there we go. And, and I'll explain why this is probably a better way to do it. It doesn't hurt to do the other one. 
It's just you want to make sure it's at the top. And so it kind of breaks the rule in that you're putting a single model above a group when typically it's the groups at the top. So if we just have one, one Rosa wreath model in the Rosa wreath group, it doesn't matter. It's all good. And then you do the rest. But you don't need icicles one through eight if you have the icicles group in here. So I'll show you icicles group and then leave these alone. The matrix, of course, you'll want that. Um, and let's just take a let's just take a quick look at this. OK, we'll come back to it. I'm going to go to my save because it's red now. Um, now we have our extreme sequences view, all pixels, yard, blah, 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 all the way down. And we're good. Remember that thing I told you about icicles? If you want to put an effect on icicles, because you just can't go wrong with butterfly, but then you want to put a separate effect just on icicle one, just to be different, because you deserve to be different, don't you? And there you go. And then you can see that icicle one is taking over because it is underneath the group. And that is how that works. So you do not need separate icicles in here. They're already in your group. Just use them. It makes us so much cleaner. Okay, so if you're happy with this, let's go back to our display elements. Let's click on our extreme sequence view. And now we will make master. One or more models have a, I don't care. So what we have done is we have made this the master view for here. And so you can have various master views, no big deal. So the cool thing now is when I go to create a new sequence, musical or animation, I will now click in my all models drop down dialog box and I will choose the view that I want. Extreme sequences view, done. And it will always have these in the correct order that you specified. No more having to go in here and rearrange these every time you start a new sequence. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great rest of your day.